Hello all, welcome to part 75 of STNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate the implementation of TestNG verbose attribute in TestNG XML file. So let's get started. So we can add this verbose attribute in TestNG XML file and can get different output in the output console. Okay, we'll see that in practical way. Let's switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample TestNG project that we are using from the previous sessions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this login. Here in this login class, we have multiple tests. Okay, test one. This is going to be failed, guys. Okay, because I intentionally added ABC here. Okay, up to here is correct, but I intentionally added ABC. So this particular test method is going to fail. Now, second test method, this is going to pass. Okay, this is going to pass. Without any problem, this is going to pass. Login with valid and invalid password is going to pass. Then uh, third one, login with invalid email and valid password. This one also is going to pass. Okay, this one is also going to pass. So here I can give some different email address and login with invalid credentials. This one also some, in, some in different email address I'll give and this is also going to be passed. And finally, we have this particular test method this is going to be failed because uh, I just added some ABC here. Okay. This is not the expected warning message. I just added ABC. So the first, first test and the last test are going to fail and remaining three tests in between are going to pass. Okay. In the login class. Now, if you open this session.xml file here, it is referring only to one class that is login class. You see only login. I'm not running the register and search here. I'm only running the login the test from the login class I am running. And uh, here we have the suit. Under the suit, we have this test tag. Under the test, we have the classes. Under the classes, I only mentioned this login class. I didn't mention the register and such, okay? So only the login related uh, tests will run. But by default, how they will run, okay? Five tests need to run. Let's see that, right? Before I implement any verbose here in this test in XML file, I'll run basically and see by default what is happening. What kind of output we are getting in the output console, we'll see. So output console, this is output console, guys. Whatever you are seeing is Eclipse output console. You see, this is the kind of output we are getting. The scripts are running, guys. The scripts are running. There will be five automation scripts that will be running. Fifth one will fail. First one will fail and fifth one will fail. And... Uh, Second one got skipped, guys. Okay, second one got skipped uh, because uh, maybe here, let's see the second one, investigate second one. It is depending on the first test method. Since it is failing, this is skipping. Okay, since it is depending on the login with valid credentials uh, test method, this, this test is not running and hence it is skipping. So one is, uh, first one is failing, second one is skipping, third one, fourth one are passing and fifth one is again failing as I mentioned already, okay? Now, if you see the output console, it will be like this, okay? These are just selenium logs, guys, nothing much, okay? All the red color things are selenium logs. Only we have to focus on the black color things, okay? Black color text here in the output console. You see this black color text, okay? Out of five, five tests, two got passed, two got failed, one got skipped, and this is a version of being used. By default, that is the case. What, what will happen? What will happen, guys, if I use here in the suit tag, we have to use verbose in the suit tag, guys, okay? If I use verbose attribute here and uh, specify that with one, okay? Earlier, verbose was not there. Now I am specifying verbose field with one value. I can specify verbose with one to 10 values, okay? One is the least one, 10 is the max one, okay? So does it impact this verbose is equal to one will impact this output console output? Do we get any different output? Let's see that. Run this. If you don't specify verbose, and if you specify verbose is equal to one, what is the difference we'll see? Is there any difference or not? We'll see practically. Okay. The first line is always there. There's no difference. All these red color things are also same. There's no difference. You'll not see any difference, guys, basically. Okay. 
verbose is equal to one is same as without providing verbose also. Okay. If you provide verbose or if you don't provide verbose, when verbose is equal to one, both are same. Same output we are going to get in the output console, guys, without any difference. You see the same output we got here. We got the same thing that when uh, in the previous run, when I have not provided at the suit tag level, verbose is equal to one. Still, we got the same output. When we provide verbose is equal to one also, I got the same output. There's no difference in that, right? But if I increase this number, instead of one, if I give two, you will see some small difference now. Okay, let's run this and see what is the difference in the output console. When I make the verbose is equal to a descriptive, you see these lines were not coming earlier. Now we are getting some extra information in the, okay? We are getting some extra information in the output console. Earlier, we didn't get this uh, three lines. Now we are getting with verbose is equal to two. We are getting that extra three lines. Apart from that, are we getting any other extra information when I mentioned verbose is equal to two? Let's see that. You see, we are getting some extra information with verbose is equal to two. So not only these things, but also here, if you see, if any particular test got failed, okay, uh, you see these uh, test details are coming, past test details, which test, earlier we didn't get this, uh, Test methods which got passed, okay. The names of the test methods which got passed or the names of the test methods which got failed. And if they got failed, the details why they got failed, all these details are not okay. The stack trace was not coming for the failed test. Skip a test also, some stack trace is coming. And you see, this extra thing is coming apart from this, this extra thing is coming again, okay. Login test, class name, and suit level it is giving, and login test also it is giving, okay. This is the verbose is equal to. What if I give verbose is equal to three, four, five? It keeps on increasing, guys. Let's give five, guys. Okay. Let's see whether there is any difference if I give five. Any other extra information is coming or not? If not, that's okay. This is same as verbose is equal to. Verbose is equal to is same as whatever we are getting so far. Okay. Uh, even though I give verbose is equal to 5, so far the same, same things happen. But let's see till the end what will happen. And don't see any difference, guys. Okay. It looks same as verbose is equal to. Okay. Same details are coming. Maybe some extra details may come here and there, but uh, it doesn't look uh, different for me. It is almost same. So here some invoked methods are coming apart from the past. Fail. Some extra thing is coming. This is this is what is difference uh, between verbose two and verbose five. Some invoked methods are coming here. Some extra things are coming. These extra thing that I am getting. So what I can give from one to ten, guys. Okay, this verbose I can give from one to ten. But in real time, in real time, what is the verbose you generally have to mention? Better to give five or six, guys. That is enough. That is more than enough. Five or six is enough, guys. If you give ten also, no problem. But, but better people, most of the people will give verbose as five or six guys. Okay, that's more than enough. Okay, but if you give verbose is equal to one, it's same as not mentioning the verbose. Okay, if you don't give verbose and if you give verbose is equal to one, that's all same. You'll get the, you'll see the same output. Okay, but if you give the verbose as two, you'll see some difference. And if you give verbose as five or six, you will see some extra information. Okay, generally it's preferred to give the verbose as five or six guys. Okay in real time. So if you want to get more details in this output console, you have to increase the number of this verbos and the general recommended one is five or six. Okay. I prefer five. Okay. So hope guys you understood uh, how to implement this uh, test ng verbos attribute in test ng XML file and get more output or more information in the output console. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.